Hello everybody, this is Fernando Baldwin here, and for the first time in video form, welcome to Train Sim World! Yes, sir, here we are playing Train Sim World 5 here on the channel under the form of a video rather than a live stream. Of course, we did a very, very long live stream to give this game its big debut here on the channel. Uh, but of course, now today we'll be doing something a little bit smaller and we'll be doing a center in the form of a video then. So here we go, that first video here on Train Sim World 5. And by the way, yes, the intro thing is going to be a bit of a running gag. So, um, yeah, I won't do the full version next time, but the, 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 the you're gonna give me five is just, I just can't get over it. It's just too funny of a thing to let go. And ironically, um, that's what the scenario is called today. It's literally called Gimme Five. So, it's just perfect. You know, Dovetail, it's like, it's, it's like they knew. It's like they knew that I would do this someday. Anyway, so what are we actually doing for today? Well, uh, ironically, this is my first video on uh, Train Sim World 5. Although, not the first one on Train you know what I mean. But anyways, uh, but uh, we will not be playing with uh, any of the new content, though, which is now here in Train Sim World. Instead, we'll be playing with something that's um, not old, but it's been around for a little while now. Um, well, one thing that's been around for a little while, and one thing that's been around for a while. So, anyways. Uh, we're driving the Amtrak Acela Express on the Boston to Providence route. Yes, sir. We will be driving my favorite train on my favorite route in a scenario that is literally called Gimme 5. So, um, yeah, and as the description of the, uh, scenario, uh, says, we'll be taking control of transit number 18, which is a reduced five-car formation from Boston to Providence. So, yeah, the Gimme 5 isn't just, uh, well, it's really called Gimme 5 because, yeah, we'll be driving a slightly shortened Amtrak Acela Express set, which, of course, will be five coaches long rather than the usual six. So, um, yeah, so five-car Amtrak Acela Express set. So that's what really called Gimme 5, and we're driving from Boston to Providence, my home route. Let's get to it. Before we get on the rails, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. Alright, give me five. <laughs> You're gonna give me five. Alright, here we are then. Boston South Station. Alright, welcome to Boston South Station. Take control of a shortened Amtrak Acela Transit number 18. Motor service from Boston South down to Providence. Well, this forecast shows are pretty progressive. Be ready for some sun changes. Alright then. Well, there's not snowing out. Like, I know they really like to um, put snow in these Boston service for some reason. But it's going some rain though, so yeah. Hey, 2023. Hey, that's the year this train released. Also, do apologize if you hear any noises in the background. I'm fucking getting through the microphone. My mom is still here. Um, although she'd be going out at some point, but uh, yeah. Here are then the Amtrak Acela Express, and also we have those look at the coaches, the Amphlet coaches over there. We have the uh, yeah the what I like to call the shiny Amphlet coaches mod installed. Um, anyway, let's get to get to the cab. I want all these people. Come on. There we go. All right, here we are then on the Boston to Promise route. I've driven this route, I think, more than any other route here in Trains and World because, well, it's just Boston Province. It's the MBTA train leaving. Oh, there. Or I should say goodbye. Yep, MBTA train now departing the station. All right, let's get inside the cab of the Acel Express. That's not called the Acel Express anymore. It's just a Sulla now, but Acel Express just sounds better. And we got to activate the cab, so we'll do that. And, uh, all right, let's get this train underway. All right, so we'll do this. Yep, forwards, cut out. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. Oh, is that what happens going on? Huh? I, I, yeah, I took this train out earlier, but for some reason, words wasn't working. And right, the train mayor's crew instructions to disable the tilting train to keep this train speed under 100 miles per hour. Oh, are you serious? Oh, we're not gonna be able to go full speed. That's a shame. Okay. So we're turning off the tilting. Oh. And um, huh. Well, that's a little unfortunate. I guess we'll be only limited to 100 miles per hour in this. Scenario. Okay. Uh, so let's actually see the objective then. So I'll have all this. So, so Boston, Back Bay, Railway 20, and Province. Okay, so a pretty regular cell of service. There's another one arriving. Hello there. Yes. So we're going to for a bit then. So I'm driving locomotive number uh, 2025. 
<laughs> which is when Training World 6 would be released. So I'll have to get that you're going to give me five things as much as I can. Of course, we have five coaches. Interestingly enough, the coach that cut is the uh, first class coach. So instead, we have four business class coaches and the one cafe coach. Interesting. Yeah, here's the end business. Ops, the end business class coach faced the wrong way around. The doors are supposed to be at the locomotive end. You morons. Ah. <laughs> yep, as a diehard solo fan, that kind of stuff annoys me. Ah. Better than the Amtrak Acela Express train. I guess we're about ready to go. All right. That's a quiet car. And there's the doors closing. And I guess we're ready to go. All right. So, yeah, it's just a break. And uh, also, it's the cruise control. And 50 miles. Oh, it's 10 miles per hour. Okay, let's go. There we go. All right, and it's a rainy day, so we need the wipers. Eh, wipers though should be fine. I don't think I've actually done this train in rainy conditions before. Hmm. I've driven in snow, but I don't think I've ever driven in rain. That's interesting. Alrighty then, a couple of the mods I may as well mention. Um, so yeah, two mods installed. I have the uh, shiny Amphlet Coaches mod, as I like to call it, because, you know, it makes the Amphlet Coaches shinier. Um, and I've also installed uh, Joseph Crank's Cell Express Enhancement mod here, so we have uh, better sounds and other stuff. I think it mainly just improves the sounds. I'm not sure if it actually fixes anything to do with the physics, but I'm mainly going to for the sounds, because the... Uh, um... Oh, there's the other blower. How about that? Yeah. But I decided to get this mod, and um, to be fair to Dovetail, the, uh, the default sounds in this train here in Train Simul, they're actually pretty good. Uh, but the Joseph Craig sounds are just better, so that's why I got it. <laughs> yeah. And there's another, yeah, there's an MBT train heading off to uh, Southampton Yard. And uh, there we go. Um, yeah, so yeah, doing a five car Amtrak Asola set. Um,. I don't think they've ever done a uh, like a five car like in revenue service of sorts. Although I do remember that they did do a a seven car Amtrak Cell Express at some point because I think they were actually testing out the uh, the possibility of ordering extra coaches uh, for the uh, Asala. Um, because um, as we know, uh, the uh, the first generation Cell Express sets, which is what I'm driving right now, um, all of them have six coaches. Um, However, there were plans to actually extend the uh, Acela sets to like eight or eight or nine coaches or something. Um, although those plans, of course, never came through. Although they did, like I said, they did do a, a seven car Acela Express set uh, some time ago. I think there was like a dynamometer car or something that they added onto the train. I don't know, but there's some footage of it on YouTube if you want to see that. Um, but as for a five car Acela set, I don't think they've ever done that before, or I don't think they've ever done that at all. So yeah, this is uh, yeah, this service is a kind of fictional, but. You're gonna give me five. I had to do it, okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, go up a little bit more here. I guess this is some sort of like test train though, because apparently we have to drive with the with the uh, tilting disabled and we're only allowed to go up to hundred miles per hour, so um yeah, we're not quite gonna be able to drive this up to full speed, which is uh, unfortunate as the Oh wow, it's really coming down now. Holy moly. The rain. So it's a rain day here in the northeast corridor. Yeah. Although, if you would like to see me drive this train to full speed, I actually did do that um, a couple years ago, actually. Well, more specifically, last year when um, this train first came out, actually. Yeah, I did a, uh, I did a whole live stream um, dedicated to the train when it first came out. I actually drove it. Um, oh, frame rate. Yeah, I actually drove this train in a dedicated live stream uh, from Trenton to New York and then from Providence to Boston. So, not the, actually, the first time I've driven this train here on this channel here in this game. And, well, that's not the first time I've driven this train in general. Um, I've also driven this thing a fair bit over in Train Sim Classic here on this channel. And, um, oh yeah, I think I even drove this train over in uh, Trains, or, well, most city Train Simulator 2, uh, way back in the day. So, yeah, I drove this train a lot. Um, but of course I have, because, yeah, in case you didn't know, the first generation of Solo is actually my favorite train in the entire world. I've... I've loved this train ever since I was a little child. I still love it now, and I'm going to love it forever and ever, because it's just... 
it's just it's, uh, I don't know what it is, but I think because um, this was really the first ever high speed train that I learned about, and my favorite trap train in general is just high speed trains. We're arriving here in Back Bay. Um, I'll get to the wipers off actually, since we're in a tunnel. Um, oh, I'm gonna stop in time. Uh oh, stop. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so come to stop in Back Bay. Then I'll talk more about this train. Oh, don't stop yet though. Oh. Ah, these trains. Come on. Okay, I need to really try to do this properly. <laughs> Um, I should come to a nice gonna stop here at back, but we're gonna be a teeny bit late, but, oh well. It's Amtrak, so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, stopped a little bit quick of the, um, upper thing, but, oh well. Yeah, let's open the doors. Right, let's keep a quick stop, actually, only 30 seconds. Nah. Oh, there's a, uh, another MBTA train, like, on the wall there. Oh. Hey, he's going on the uh, the future Worcester line. Hey. Well, future trains and world. Hmm. Alright, so yeah, five coaches long. We'll get some cool flyby shots though once we're at high speed. Yes. Alright, doors closed. And now for over 20. Okay, remember, keep your speed below 100 miles per hour. Wait, when they say below 100 miles per hour, what does that mean? Yeah, we're not coming to the last in the line. Keep your speed below 100. What do you mean below 100? We about why not just go at 100? <laughs> it's weird. All right, the train does have a tendency to whistle though with cruise control on though. If it's like slippery weather, yeah, that's not. Yeah, when you um, at least here in Train Sim World, when you talk with the cruise control on, it just sort of applies full throttle, or at least full throttle to a point where it like it will slips. Um, so great job not, not testing that out, I guess, because that doesn't actually happen when you're driving in uh, in uh, dry weather. If you're driving in a uh, wet weather, uh, like I am today, you're in this scenario, then yeah, this has happened, I guess. All right, then we'll go up the uh, back bay tunnel, and uh, yeah, next up is Route 128. All right, there's the other blower sound. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've. Been a huge fan of this train really ever since I was a child. Really ever since I learned about trains uh, in real life. You know, the um, you know, since I uh, grew up in uh, Providence, Rhode Island, which is ironically where we're going to actually. Um, you know, I was able to spend a lot of time around the northeast quarter. You know, watching the trains go by. You know, we had the uh, the well, I say had we still have well, we got the uh, the the MBTA, the uh, the regional, which of course. Oh, hello there. Speaking of which, there you go. But yeah, we had the uh, the MBTA commuter rail, the regional, and of course we had this, the Acela. And the Acela was my favorite ever since the beginning. Um, I don't know, I've just always just preferred uh, high-speed trains over everything else, you know? I think it's just because of the looks, you know? I just, the, just the way that these trains look is just so cool to me, you know? I just, yeah. Oh, hang on, I think the rain has stopped. Nah, it's... Okay, it's not raining hard. And, yep, up to 100 uh, miles per hour. Yeah, there's another MBTA train with uh, six... Wait, one, two, three... Oh, yeah, six coaches, which is also not quite realistic. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of the uh, part of Boston. Uh, once we're... Yeah, once we're out of the uh, Southwest Corridor, then we'll... Uh, uh, we'll be... Um, well, we'll be out of the tunnels, at least. I still fly by now since we're here. Wait, keep the train under 100. Wait, what? Under 100. So what? Do I have to do 99? I say under 100. Why don't I just say. Dude, that's stupid, by the way. Under 100 miles per hour. Why don't I just have a set speed, like 100 miles per hour, and you can't go any faster than that? Stupid game. I right, another flyby then. There we go. There we go. Hey, here's Forest Hills, my favorite station. That is another MBTA train there. Yes. 
Forest Hills. This is that I've been to many, many times. All right. Also, this time I actually remember to uh, disable my cursor. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna let him just drive a cab video like this. Yeah, <laughs> I actually did the uh, so I did the Sherman Hill video, of course, uh, last month, and um, I actually realized when I was editing that, oh, I forgot to turn off my cursor. Well, now I actually remember to turn it off without off. So, yeah, I can see my cursor, but you can't, uh, which is what I want. So yeah, first video here on uh, Train Spot Five, and um, oh, we got a uh, overspeed warning for some reason. I don't know what I what why that is. Hang on, what's going on? Wait, we're just to eighty. Oh, huh. We're coming with some yellows. Uh, okay. All right, I guess I'm starting to drive the train today. We got yellows for what? Um. Oh, there's nobody in front of me. Hmm. Also, you can see with the live map, you can actually take a look at the uh, service and stuff. So that's pretty neat. In terms of the live map, though, um, oh, I'm gonna wait. What? I think something's up. Hang on. No. Yeah, it's because the um, it's because with the way the cab system works, it wants me to go down to a certain speed, but. If I do that, I'm going to be late for Robo 28. I don't want to do that. Although, why do I have the yellows anyway? Um, no, nope, I don't see anything in front. So, I don't know why the lights would be yellow. Uh, so, whatever. I'm just going to drive up this to uh, line speed then. I'll do 99 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, so instead of doing 100 miles per hour, we're going to do 99 miles per hour. Which is one step below that. Because I guess that's what they want us to do here. Which doesn't make much sense. But, eh, I don't know. Actually, no, why are we only allowed to go 100, 100 miles per hour? Is this like a... No, but we were stopping at Back Bay in Round 20, so this is like a revenue server. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were going to be able to do full speed, but no, I guess we had to add some special interest for some reason. Okay. All right, well, whatever dovetail, I guess. I know it was dovetail if I made this scenario. Should have got that uh, Brandon guy, also known as Cactus Juice, to uh, make this scenario or something, because he's like the expert when it comes to... Um, Northeastern American railroads, and uh, you guys actually may have heard of him if you watch some of the uh, dovetail streams or something. I actually got him on the uh, the stream for when they were starting off this train, as well as the uh, the Trenton route, as well as the uh, Long Island Railroad commuter route, which came out earlier this year. So yeah. So oh, there's an MBTA train out there. Yep, as I saw. But yeah, I don't know if you're gonna make these scenarios, get somebody who's like an expert on these things, you know. Oh, there's some freight stuff. Yeah, there's the uh, Sand Pass grade layers coming in. How about that? Can't really see much because of this fog, but yeah, I do have the uh, Sand Pass grade route installed as well, so you'll see some freight stuff on the sidings. Alright, we're not going very fast. We'll wait until about a mile before Route 120, then I'll start slowing down. And we're actually going to get there. Uh, I think we're going to get a slight head. Actually, no. Mm, eh, we'll see. Might get there around the money, actually. And. Alright, we're going to do some photo. And. Apply the brakes. Yeah, sue full service. Just to be on the safe side. Yeah. Alrighty then. Alright, we're gonna slow down in time, right? Yeah, I think we are. Sometimes I underestimate the braking capabilities and sometimes I overestimate it. Yeah, I think we're going to arrive there slightly behind schedule, but that's fine. Alright, Route 128. Uh, come on. There we go. Isn't it a bit weird that they have the stops here, though? This is like a middle-of-nowhere station. Kind of. Well, middle-of-nowhere, but, you know. I can just understand Back Bay, because that's, like, in Boston. Uh, but this... Station. Well, we're not actually in Boston anymore. We're in, um, well, actually, I don't even know where we're at right now. <laughs> in, uh, Massachusetts. Alright, let's stop here. Just the right place. Oh, that's the game frozen up. There we go. And. Nailed it! Yes! 
Also, I don't understand why we only have 30 second stops. You know, all Amtrak tra trains wait at least a minute at their stations, so I don't understand why. This is all the patch in there, uh, got their umbrellas. That's actually a nice little detail that they added later on. So. Yeah, Kuz Dovetail for at least making the uh, pads to NPCs more realistic. Alright, and let's close the doors. Alright, and our words to Providence. How about that? My home city. Yeah, those little sounds. Well, how cool this train looks. <laughs> right, there's the other blower sound. And another MBTA train? Yes, it is. How about that? Once again with six coaches. Ah, and the game's stuttering in. <laughs> At 40. All things considered, though, I don't understand why they have six coach MBTA trains in the um, in scenarios. It's weird because. In the uh, meanwhile, in the time tip mode, they actually have the correct MBTA consist. Um, because, well, here's the th here's the annoying thing about this game, though, right? So, they don't have the double deckers, at least not yet. They they'll be coming in the uh, in the Worcester line, but as of right now, well, as of when this one came out, they only had the uh, single decker coaches, which is first of all not even realistic for MBTA because MBTA uh, pretty much always runs a combination of double deckers and single deckers with their trains. Um, you know, with sometimes having all double-decker trains, but as for all single-decker trains in MBTA, uh, now that's a real rarity. Although, whenever they do have only single-decker trains in MBTA, it's always five coaches long, and no more than that. So, I don't understand why Dove to have, uh, six coaches in the scenarios. Which is, again, weird, because they, they actually have the realistic five-car coach consist in the time tip mode, so I don't understand why that is. Another thing, this scenario that I'm playing, you know, this of course is a scenario for the Acela, which of course came out after this route. You know, they released they released this route back in uh, late 2021, and then they released this train, they Acela, for it later on in early 2023. So, you know, I don't know, stuff feels weird. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, too bad we're not able to go up to full speed, um, but I guess this will give us more of an opportunity to check out the route in a bit more detail. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? Since we're not really doing anything, then, um, there's Ken Junction. Yes. Um, yeah, I've showed us this now. We're going to be doing 100 miles per hour all the way to the state border. Because, yeah, as you can see here, yeah, this whole rest of the line is all high speed up until here. This is the, uh, yeah, right about here. Is where the uh, state border is crossing from Massachusetts into Rhode Island. That's when the uh, speed actually goes below, you know, 100 miles per hour. But until then, I don't have to do anything. I just let the train just drive itself. <laughs> yep, I don't have to do anything now. Well, the regional. Hey. Yes. Although, no, I do know that uh, Joseph Crank also released a uh, enhanced mod for the A64, though. I'm not really interested in it, though, because it kind of. Uh, I'm not a fan of, like, the way that the textures are changed around and the sounds and everything. You know, first, I think the sounds on the, uh, the DFO A64 are actually pretty darn good. Um, you know. Yeah, the only one I actually have for that, like I said, is the uh, Shiny Amplicoaches mod, because, you know, I'm a, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the, uh, of the Amplicoaches as they are by default. They have this, like, this... I mean, by default, the Amplicoaches look fine, but they look better with the muscle because it gives, gives them more, like, that stainless steel shine. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. 
I'm not sure what that mod is actually called, by the way. I just call it the Shiny Amplitude Coaches mod because it makes coaches more shiny and more left like. Yeah. Um. What else to talk about? Um. Well, my first video as well in a while. Um. <laughs> I was going to do a video a couple weeks ago, right after the, um, the Build of Season 5 stream, but then I was fun a little bit behind, um, hey, Sharon, Sharon, yes. I was going to do a video for the week of the, uh, of the Build and Ted Season 5 stream, but then I was falling a little bit behind on, uh, Build and Ted, so I decided to not do a gameplay video that week and had a video going out, so I figured I would just do that. But of course, I also did do a video on the uh, week of the uh, Transport 5 Ultimate Extravagant stream, although that was my plan from the beginning, because I, w I knew that was going to be a super long live stream, so I decided that it would be best to just, um, you know, not do a video that week. So, yeah. Um, but here we are, finally. Um, a week where I'm not doing a live stream. Um, so, yeah. Drinks and World. Um, yeah. I'm not really saying much. Well, I've I've driven this route, like I said, so many times to a point where I've seen it all. Hard right, times over. So let's fly my view though. Oh, hang on. I can get ahead of the train here. Hang on. Get too far away, and then here he goes. Better than the five coach solo train running at a slower pace. Yay. But yeah, this train has most certainly given me five. <laughs> yeah. Um, although, I've also got a few questions in regards to. Well, I say a few questions. Mainly from uh, Nikki was asking uh, where does that clip come from? The uh, you're going to give me five clip. Um. So the game footage that you see in that clip is actually from a game called, I think it's called, uh, I think it's, I think it's Flat Out 2 or Flat Out, I don't know, one of the Flat Out games. Um, I don't actually know because I've never played that game, I just know the clip. Um, so yeah. Um, and that clip, by the way, is actually years old, that dates all the way back to, uh, 2013. Um, and I still find it funny even after all this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm very mature, I know. Well, I may as well use the opportunity to show something else. Here's the other uh, view screen, which of course puts you right up to the screen. And there's the other screen, which shows all the data and stuff. That's pretty neat. That's a, a new thing here in uh, Transform World 5. Um, I don't really find myself using it at all because. I don't know, I just don't need to, but uh, it's like that's a little thing you could do now. You know, because obviously it can be a little bit, you know, tedious, I guess, sometimes where you're just, you know, trying to do things with the screen, but then trains moving and everything, but of course. Uh, with the future, you can put your face right up to the screen, and it doesn't even move around at all. So you can just do whatever it is you need to do in the screen. So that's neat, I guess. Um, like I said, I don't find myself using it very often, but for those of you who do want to use it, well, there you go. And of course, I've got the new live map as well, which of course tells you stuff. Well, it doesn't tell you for the player train, yeah. So this just says time, and that's it. Uh, let's do the location, though. And here is, um, here it is, Mansfield. Oh, hey, you do get fast travel on the routes. Interesting, yeah, there's the uh, new fast travel thing. Also, there's the Mansfield Track 1 and 2. And there's a train there, which is just, I guess, light mode. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't tell you, though. Um, like, in the live map 2.0, if you hover your cursor over a train, um, then it tells you, like, where, what the train service is and where it's going to. Although, that's only if it's a, uh, if it's a AI train that's moving. With just a static console, it just doesn't even show up at all because it's just like it's just static. It doesn't move anywhere, so it's kind of useless. So that's yeah. Oh, right, actually, we're actually entering now the uh, yeah Mansfield, which actually there's some freight cars there. Are they uh, with a the locomotive? Oh, there. Anyway, here we are entering one of uh, three sections now. The Northeast Quarter we can go up to 100. 50 miles per hour here in the cell. Yeah, or at least we could do that if we weren't restricted to 100 miles per hour, but whatever. Um, but yeah, of course, here's the section of this quarter where you could go 150 if I wasn't doing this service. Yeah, if it was doing time to mode, then you could go up to 150. So yeah, like I said, one of three sections where you can go that fast. So yeah. Um, shut up, train. 
But yeah, so there's, um, actually for the longest time there was only two sections where you can go fast. Ironically, both of which were actually close by me. This is, uh, one of them. Section between Mansfield and uh, Attleboro, where you go up to 150 miles per hour. Um, then there's a section that's actually not in Trains and World, um, and it's in the, it's in, uh, Rhode Island. I believe between, um, TF Green and Kingston or something. Well, you have to slow down a couple times for that section, um, which is a thing, but, yeah. And of course, not too long ago, they upgraded the, uh, the, uh, the section between, uh, Jersey Avenue and, um, Princeton Junction, or Hamilton, I think it was, I don't know, um, in, uh, New Jersey, which is in Trains and World, so, yeah. Um, yeah. Now, of course, there was a second section I mentioned, though, which is in Rhode Island. Um, obviously, we don't have that in Trainsome World. However, that section does exist over in Trainsome Classic. So, if you really want to drive that section, uh, and if you have Trainsome Classic, as well as the required add-ons, you can download that route from the, uh, workshop. So, yeah. I haven't driven that line in a long time, though, but mainly because it's just the same old line and stuff. So, yeah. Um... So that route's been work in progress for a real long time. In fact, we're actually we're actually approaching now the tenth anniversary of that route, of the first version of the route being published to the workshop. And ironically, it was actually the route the section uh, between uh, Westerly and uh, well, it wasn't actually, but the province yet, but eventually became Westerly and Providence. So yeah, the whole we're down section of this quarter, which I thought was pretty cool. I actually thought that was a um, an official route at first. I was like, you know. Because I remember, 20, all the way back in 2014, they released the, um, the, uh, New York to New Haven route. And then they, and then I saw a video from FanRailer of that King sensation. I remember, actually, very much remember that, that video, actually, when it was first published. Way back in 2014. At first I thought to myself, hey, do they got section from New Haven to Boston now? And then I, and then Mr. FanRailer actually did some more videos, and then I realized, oh, it's actually not that much. But, you know, I thought that was still cool, though. Like, yeah, now I got to know this quarter in, uh, Rhode Island, which is, of course, my home state. Um, yep. And yes, I do very much live here in Rhode Island. I've lived here for about, I think, like, 98% of my life now. Um, and, um, yeah, when I say that, um, I was actually born in, uh, Michigan, actually. I was born in Michigan, and then I lived in Michigan until I was about eight months old or something, or seven months, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but I was born in Michigan, and then... And then I was actually moved here to Rhode Island in, I guess it was summer of 2002. And I've lived here ever since. And to be honest, I don't really want to live, I don't really want to live anywhere else. So, um, yeah. I'm actually really glad I was uh, actually relocated here to Rhode Island because um, I've actually really enjoyed living here. Um, well, let's say that. <laughs> now, what I like about living in Rhode Island is actually for lots of stuff around it. Like, there's several places in uh, Massachusetts and Connecticut that I'm able to go to, uh, which is fun. Of course, I'm also not too far away from New York, so... Yeah, I can go there without... Well, I say that. New York is still pretty expensive because, of course, the hotel costs and everything. But at least getting there is easy. Because, um... Ironically, the Northeast Corridor provides a, a direct... Uh, rail link from Providence to, um... To New York. And, um... Actually, all the times I've actually been to New York has actually been by train. Uh, including my most recent trip to New York, uh... Last year, which I've actually a video on. So if you want to take a look at that, then, uh... Yeah, go do it. Um... And Rock, um, this train that I'm driving could actually go all the way to uh, New York Penn if we had that in Trains and World. But we don't because that was stupid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Um. Yeah. I'm about to pass by uh, Attleboro. There's another MBTA train. A lot of MBTA trains. That's 1032, by the way, just after rush hour. It shouldn't be this many trains, but oh, well. And there's another MBTA train. Yes, sir. Um, let's see, what else do I want to talk about then? Um, I've got yellows coming up. You know what, I'm actually going to ignore the yellows, because... Well, because. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right, anything else I want to talk about, um, regarding this, you know, this quarter thing? Um. No, actually. I guess I'll mention this route then for I'll talk about this route a bit more. Um, yeah, I guess just because in case it's the first video that you're seeing, maybe I'll talk about my uh, sort of nostalgia for this route. I say nostalgia. Well, just how excited I was when it first announced. Like I actually remember back in uh, I think it was mid two thousand. Yeah, it was mid two thousand twenty one. I remember when this route was first announced, and I was just like I I was just 
over the moon. I was like, they're actually adding this valve in train simulator. Like, how cool is that? You know? That's another BTA train. Hey, is that one of five coaches? Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's still six coaches. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Uh, also, is he in the express line? Oh. Yeah, he is. Oh, that's not realistic either. Come on. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I think there's a fictional time table they used to put together the scenario actually just to make it more lively. Give you more stuff to look at. But I was absolutely over the moon when they first um, announced this route. Uh, especially it's probably like a rush hour thing as well. Because um, one of my favorite things to do in Boston actually is to go to the uh, Forest Hill Station which we passed by earlier in this video. And I like to watch all the MBT trains go by during, uh, during the rush hour period. Although, having said that, it doesn't seem like MBT actually has a rush hour anymore. Because, um, I guess at one point, like 2023 or so, or 2022, I'm not too sure. Uh, I think MBT, they actually just completely changed their timetables to where they don't really have, like, a rush hour anymore. And rather, it's just a train every hour throughout the whole day. Yeah, like, rather than do what most commuter railroads do and have, um, you know, a bunch of trains going into the city in the morning, and then a bunch of trains heading away from the city in the evening. Uh, MBTA, rather, just treats it more like a weekend where they just have a train every hour for just the whole day, from dawn to dusk. Which, to be honest, not really sure why they did that, all things considered. I think it's something to do with, um, well, a certain event that happened in uh, 2020. I do have a red light coming up, so I better start slowing down here, actually. Um, oh. And literally, as it starts slowing down, the light goes green. Thank you for that. Which is just love when that happens. And South Edinburgh, here it is. The big station. Well, I say big, but the station that I've been to the absolute most. How about that? Can't see if everyone does all this fog, but there you go. How about that? South Edinburgh station. I have a lot of memories there as well. Okay, I think we're going to start slowing down now. Let's go down to 60. Alright, yeah, let's go. I'm going to have to apply the brakes as well because this train is... Yeah, e-breaker grace isn't the best on this thing. But I guess MBT doesn't really have a rush hour anymore for some reason. But, yeah, so... <laughs> actually, but the most recent time I actually went to uh, Forest Hills was actually after they, um... They went to the, uh, the every hour a day, or every hour a day, okay, every hour all day train service thing, which so, yeah. Um, still a lot of trains, though, and, actually, I also have a video on that, by the way, so watch my, uh, Boston trip from, uh, 2023 if you want to see that. I just realized now, yep, there's the river, and we are now in the state of Rhode Island. Yes, sir. The land of the Frozen Bobbin. How about that? Um, actually, we're about to approach the uh, location of the uh, where the Baltic Center Falls Station is now. Uh, of course, this route was made uh, before that, so we don't actually have Baltic Center Falls on this map, and rather we have um, well, what used to be there, which I guess is just like an industry of some sort. Actually, we're about to pass by it soon. Actually, yeah, you're about to see the location where Baltic Center Falls is now. So. Yes, yeah, so here's the curve. Yep, so this leads into the station. And, um... Nah, I'm not quite there yet, but we will be. I guess I ripped up all these tracks in your stuff as, and stuff as well. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta pass these trees. And here it is. Yep. Yeah, so right about here is where the Baltic Center Falls Station resides uh, in the current day. Um, yeah, but of course, I was based before that, so yeah, there's no Baltic Center Falls Station yet, and all the MBTA trains stop at uh, South Ottawa. Although it would be kind of nice if we get like an updated version as well, you know, maybe somehow we could put like a Baltic Center Falls in this, although I don't think that's possible because, you know, Delta Bay said to themselves that, um, 
that it's not possible to uh, edit existing routes, which is kind of a shame, actually. Um, yeah. So you're going through the uh, big freight yard, then? Shame it's so foggy, but... Yeah, there you go. There's some uh, freight going stuck. Which, of course, you get if you have the uh, St. Patrick Grey route installed. Um, yeah, welcome to Rhode Island. Yeah, that's how I've been by many times. Many, many times. Oh, there's some, uh, oh, I've got regional and BTA. And even a CSX freight train, how about that? Nice. I can buy the BTA trains. I always got to been by a uh, number of times. Also, kudos to Dovetail for making the uh, latest feature work in scenarios and rather rather than just the time to a mode. Yeah. Yeah, the latest sector feature definitely. Well, I say that. Um, there's not much to this route actually in terms of like layers. Um, all I really have is the Acela and the uh, CSX uh, freight stuff, and that's it actually. Um, of course, that's accurate to real life as well. Um, of course, we've got the HP coming, HP forty six and the uh, double decker and BTA cooks coming soon. I guess that's not gonna be layering onto this route, so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Alright, so slowing down as we're about to arrive in Providence. Alright, it starts. Yep, yeah, let's go on the brakes. Actually, uh... Oh, I yeah, ended on. Oh, okay. Huh. You have to throw it on to slow down. That's something. <laughs> Here we are then, Providence itself. Can't see it very well with all this fog, but yes. There may have been a couple of topics by the way I've discussed in this video that actually got cut off and forgot to bring up again, but oh well. It's a gameplay video, so meh, probably don't care that much about that stuff, but uh well, here we are, they're approaching the end of the first video on Train Table 5, which is the same video as Train Table 4, so, yeah. As yeah, another SL Express departing Providence. That's a normal six card consist as well. Oh, it's stopped for some reason. Alright. Alright then, Providence Station. Let's drop the uh, wiper at least. Alright, it's come to a stop, and, um, yeah, I believe this would be the end of this scenario. Well, no, it is the end of the scenario, because this is the end of the line here in Trainsome World. Alright, let's get on the brakes here. Oh, Alright, on the brakes, there we go. Sort of to get the stopping marker right. Oh. No, nope. fell off. Doors on or doors open. There we go. All right, here we are then. Providence. Another BTA train. And there's our train. How shiny this train looks, though. <laughs> it's shiny and modern. So there you go then, Boston to Providence. I think I've also driven this route actually more times on this channel than I have any other, so... <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I have to. It's my home route. So, yeah. Well, I guess since we're here... 
Um, now my next video though will also be on uh, Train Simulator World Five, or I guess I, I think I'm gonna call it Train Simulator. Ah, uh, oh, I already commented on this coach here. Um, I might just call it start calling it Train Simulator World actually, but I'll probably just call it Train Simulator World Five in the intro just to make the joke because it's funny. I guess it's going to province, yeah. And I'm pretty sure this should be going all the way to uh, New York or Washington, even. Alrighty. And all right, we gotta shut the train down for some reason. All right. I thought I'm ready. Oh, okay. All right, full service. And. I'm not sure how to do this though, it's not really necessary. Oh, as we get a uh <laughs> get a team with that buzz of that jump scare anybody. So I yeah, gold medal, not a platinum though. I guess I'd have to try the safety distance for that. But oh well. Um actually that was gonna be it then. So yeah, that's scenario complete. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video. Like I said, next video will be on Train Simulator 5 again, but we'll have to take a look at something new. And then after that though, we would like to be back on Train Simulator 3. So yeah, but Anyways, uh, that will do for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.